Hi everyone, so in this video I'll be showing off the new hand calculation feature in Section Builder. So I've just added a regular L beam or an angle bracket and I've just set the fillet to zero because hand calculations don't take into account fillets. So after the solve is completed you'll be given the results as normal but there's now a new hand calculation button available here. So if you click the hand calculations you're presented with a series of steps showing you how to calculate the area the centroid and the moment of inertia. So as you look through each of the different steps, it breaks down via the formula and the substitution the different components. So you're taking the vertical and you're also taking the horizontal component. For centroid, you set up the axes as you would for a problem with this from your textbook. You establish where the centroid is that you're looking for. You set up the overall formula and you break down each of the components that you're looking for so for the vertical, the horizontal and then you resubstitute the values to get the overall centroid. Moment of inertia is similar. Um, the nice feature for this however is that one of the more difficult um, things to visualize is the D dimension um, when you're applying the parallel axis theorem um, but we've laid that out for you and all of these equations are adaptive to the section that you're trying to solve. So for example, if you're looking at this L-beam and you're taking the vertical component, the dimensions will match the section that you've inputted for the solve. So you'll notice that because an L-beam is not symmetric via the horizontal or vertical axis, that means that the moment of inertia about the zy, the product moment of inertia, will be non-zero. So we've done the calculation for this as well as provided the calculation for the angle of rotation um, about the principal ax for the principal axes. So because principal axes are involved, we've also provided the detailed calculation on how to calculate these for the principle about the z-axis and the principle about the y-axis. So this has just been a quick explainer video about how to make the most of the hand calculations. Please give us some more feedback and let us know your thoughts. Cheers. Bye.